Dawn over Chengdu revealed a shadowy figure gliding silently through the clouds, invisible, silent, and supernatural. The world had been waiting for the sixth-generation wonder of the West, yet no one expected China to strike first. The J-36, a phantom made of ambition and mystery, defied everything known about air combat. Its tailless silhouette defied radar. Its very existence defied all expectations. The balance of power shifted in an instant. But why didn't anyone notice? How did China surpass the world's most advanced air force? Let's find out. China is deploying its sixth generation fighter at this time due to a strategic landscape shaped by the growth of global air power and its own regional ambitions. The post F-35 era has seen the United States push ahead with its next generation air superiority, or NGA for short program, and Europe is developing two major projects the Future Combat Air System, or FKS for short, and the UK-led Tempest program. Meanwhile, China has remained quiet in public and shrouded its prototypes in secrecy, so the emergence of the Chengdu marks a remarkable leap forward for China in fighter technology, setting a new benchmark in air combat capability and strategic air power. Unlike traditional fighters that balance stealth agility and range, the J-36 emphasizes long-range, high-speed engagement capabilities with its unique tailless flying wing or diamond wing design, which provides advanced stealth and aerodynamic efficiency. But why is China launching a project that is shaping combat aviation at this time? It is understandable. Strategically speaking, the West is focused on building air power with global reach, aiming to project influence around the world. In contrast, China's motivation for deploying a sixth-generation fighter is focused on ensuring regional dominance in Asia, supporting its military modernization and power projection ambitions, primarily in its immediate neighborhood. This regional focus allows China to concentrate resources and discreetly accelerate development leading to a surprise revelation that changes the global air combat landscape. In addition, China's fighter program also benefits from rapid advances in AI semiconductor technology and integrated combat systems, which facilitate the development of stealth aircraft network connectivity and command nodes for drone swarms and multi-domain warfare. This combination of strategic timing, focused targeting, and technological innovation explains why China has chosen this time to unveil its sixth-generation fighter and challenge Western air dominance. So what does China's fighter have to offer to claim it? We'll surpass the West. Remember to support us with likes and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to stay updated with great information from our products. The Chengdu J-36 is not only impressive for its massive size and futuristic lines, but it also represents a completely new way of looking at stealth and air superiority. Previous generations of stealth fighters relied on multifaceted surfaces, snake-shaped air intakes, and complex coatings to hide from radar. However, this stealth aircraft represents a breakthrough moving from shape-based stealth to material-based stealth. The airframe is surprisingly seamless with no exposed panel lines or hinges, suggesting the use of a flexible radar-absorbent outer skin that can bend with the movement of the aircraft. If accurate, this would be one of the biggest breakthroughs in stealth engineering. Normally, bending materials would distort the radar-absorbent ability, reducing stealth performance. Overcoming this requires an adaptive coating that can maintain its radar signature even during complex maneuvers. This technology would simplify stealth construction and address one of the most persistent weaknesses in aircraft design radar reflections from mechanical joints. The J-36, however, is more than a stealth experiment. It is envisioned as a sixth-generation heavyweight fighter designed for endurance long-range and command, not just dogfighting. Its tailless diamond-shaped double delta wings and three-engine design are designed for long-range high speed, reportedly capable of sustaining speeds close to Mach 2 without afterburners. By ditching the vertical tail, 
and relying on thrust vectoring and large control surfaces, the aircraft sacrifices some of its low-speed maneuverability for stability and superior range, a clear sign that it was built for strategic dominance, not close-quarters combat. In addition, the jet's spacious interior not only houses a deep weapons bay for air-to-air -air missiles and precision-guided munitions, but also a sophisticated ESA radar electro-optical sensors and electronic warfare systems. Even more distinctive is the dual-seat cockpit, a rare feature in stealth aircraft that suggests dual mission capabilities. One pilot can focus on flying and engaging, while the other coordinates unmanned co-pilots' electronic warfare and communications operations. In essence, the J-36 acts as an airborne command node capable of commanding drones, managing sensor networks, and coordinating multi-domain operations across land, air, and cyberspace. This makes it more of an air cruiser than a conventional fighter, a combination of bomber interceptor and airborne command post. It represents China's ambition to develop aircraft that can not only penetrate advanced defenses, but also control the battlefield. If its adaptive radar-absorbing skin works as intended, the Chengdu could usher in a new era of stealth where survivability depends not just on aerodynamic shape but on living materials that respond to flight stress in real time. Combined with its advanced propulsion system, extended range and networking systems, it represents a unified vision of future warfare, a platform that converges stealth endurance and intelligence. Ultimately, the J-36 is more than just a technological milestone. It is a statement of intent. China is signaling that the next era of air combat will not belong to the fastest or the most agile, but to those who master the science of stealth and control down to the molecular level of the aircraft itself. The West, led by the United States, has mounted a robust and multi-pronged response to the challenge posed by China's J-36 and other emerging sixth-generation fighter technologies. At the heart of this effort is the U.S. Next Generation Air Superiority Program, which has accelerated significantly since early 2025. The NGAD program led by Boeing with the F-47 design is not just about building a new fighter. It is an ambitious family of systems concept designed to maintain air superiority into the future. This includes a manned sixth-generation fighter equipped with stealth sensor fusion and advanced long-range strike capabilities supported by a fleet of unmanned cooperative combat aircraft, or CCA for short, or loyalty squadrons that operate semi-autonomously alongside the manned aircraft. These unmanned platforms extend the range, survivability, and lethality of manned combat aircraft using advanced AI to process real-time data and make combat decisions. The NGAD program has reshaped the defense budget with more than $3 billion allocated in fiscal year 2025 alone to mature this platform and related technologies. Key technological advances include next-generation adaptive propulsion that delivers improved range and performance and a modular open systems architecture that allows for rapid integration of new capabilities. The entire system is built for interoperability, ensuring seamless coordination with allied air forces, including Japan, South Korea, and European partners who have increased their investments in their own advanced defense technologies to complement U.S. efforts. In addition to aircraft development, the West has prioritized countering stealth technology through new detection networks using long-wave radar systems capable of detecting stealth aircraft at long ranges. These systems are enhanced by AI-driven tracking algorithms, improving the ability to acquire and maintain targets even in complex electromagnetic environments. Integrated electronic warfare and cybersecurity capabilities are also being developed to degrade adversary sensors and communications networks. Overall, the Western response is not incremental, but transformational focusing on creating multi-domain networked combat systems that leverage advanced AI autonomous systems and next-generation engines to maintain superiority against sophisticated adversary platforms like China's J-36. 
This approach combines technological innovation, international cooperation, and new operational concepts to ensure air superiority in the increasingly complex battle space of the future. Do you think the West's multi-domain strategy is enough to keep up with China's rapid pace of military innovation? Leave your comments below. China's deployment of the J-36 sixth generation fighter in the Indo-Pacific region has significant strategic implications that could reshape regional security dynamics and challenge established balances of power. With an expected combat radius of approximately 1,000 kilometers, the J-36 is capable of threatening key air and sea strong points such as Guam, Taiwan, Okinawa, and Northern Australia, allowing China to impose air denial over both the first and second island chains. This disrupts U.S. and allied air superiority by targeting forward bases and critical choke points that enable the West to project power and respond quickly throughout the region. The J-36's advanced stealth design allows it to evade legacy radar networks, further complicating early warning and targeting for U.S. and partner forces. Strategically, the J-36 is a core component of Beijing's broader T-set air warfare concept, acting not only as a long-range high-speed strike platform, but also as a command and control node in a networked force structure that coordinates manned and unmanned assets, including autonomous combat drones. This expanded role amplifies its impact beyond traditional fighter roles, enhancing China's ability to conduct integrated multi-domain operations in a competitive environment characterized by sophisticated electronic warfare and missile threats. Moreover, the presence of such a platform puts pressure on regional countries such as Australia, Japan, and South Korea to accelerate modernization efforts, adopting new technologies such as loyal pilot drones and next-generation fighters to maintain competitive deterrence. From a U.S. strategic perspective, the arrival of operational J-36 squadrons adds urgency to the NGAD program and allied cooperation initiatives to counter China's expanding air combat capabilities. Moreover, the J-36's deployment challenges the current assumptions underpinning U.S.-led air dominance, highlighting the need for strategic adaptation, including investments in advanced sensor networks, long-wave radars, and AI-integrated detection systems to counter stealth threats. In essence, the introduction of the J-36 into the Indo-Pacific theater accelerates the shift from relative air superiority to a more contested multipolar air power landscape with profound implications for regional security deterrence, stability, and the balance of military power in the coming decades. The journey of aviation discovery ends here. Thank you for staying until the end. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.